Easter and Passover often overlap. They do this year, and they did in the spring of 1966. On this week's Vintage KSDK, we take you back 55 years ago to the first week of April when stadium fever was running high. Wild weather was the big story on April Fool's Day 1966 with 47 mile an hour gusts blowing down large steel girders on the grounds of a big construction project. Also damaged that day, plate glass windows at the offices of the St. Louis Globe Democrat newspaper. The weekend brought crowds to a huge Easter flower display at the Missouri Botanical Garden. We caught kids stopping to smell the flowers. Some Playboy bunnies showed up for an Easter party for children with disabilities at the St. Louis Crippled Children's Society headquarters on Lindell. And crowds flocked to downtown St. Louis Easter Saturday, where we shot some film of the traffic jamming the streets. But the biggest news of the week was here, at the site of the brand new Bush Memorial Stadium, then in the very last phases of construction. Glenn, I see you already have the infield laid out. Yes, that's right. What comes next down there on the field? Well, they're shaping up the, uh, the topsoil of the root zone area right now, and then Wednesday of this week, sodding operations will begin. That was Channel 5 reporter Chris Condon getting a progress report on the work. Crews had nearly completed the scoreboard, stands, and the field. No, there has been no trouble at all. Uh, work on the scoreboard direction commenced about a week and a half ago and has been moving along very well. Bush Memorial Stadium would open on time, May 12, 1966. It would be home to the St. Louis Cardinals, football Cardinals, and the St. Louis Rams for the next 40 years. There was just a ton of excitement around the new the opening of the new stadium back in 1966. A parade marked the grand opening and special ceremonies helped close out Sportsman's Park which up until that time had been home to the St. Louis Cardinals. Quite a lot of history. 